Thanks Oliver. So first job of the day is to remove the string. Once the string's been removed, we then need to take the legs off. So to do this, cut down the fold between the leg and the breast until you expose the butter leg bone. Once you've exposed the leg bone, just remove a bit of the sinew like I'm just showing you there. And turn the bird over, and then cut through until you reach the bone. Then with a the flat palm of your hand, push down or hammer down there, and that will take it straight through the bone. The next job, just to repeat on the other side. So again, just moving in a sinew down to the bone, and again, cut to the bone, and then hammer through. And they should be left just being able to cl cut cleanly through the actual bones themselves. Onto the wings, again, the same principle applies. Cut down to the bone, and then hammer through. Once you've done that, repeat on the other side. Then we need to remove the backbone. And then cut along. And eventually we'll reach the end. And then just a straight cut through the backbone to actually give you the chicken crown. You can use the backbone for stock at a later date if you wish. Then a simple one cut straight through the centre of the crown to give you the two halves of the breast. The next part is just to remove any fat and sinew from the bird. Back to Oliver. We're getting the chicken into the oven. Yeah, probably not his best effort, but there you go. Uh, I'm going to give it a four. Um, for me, for the cooking and the hardness and the burn, I would give it it's the difficulty. It's very difficult, but the taste is really good. So I'd give it a seven out of ten. Thanks for watching. If you want some more, press like, subscribe and hit the bell. Bye and enjoy your chicken.